The first step to get in the Minnesota marijuana game is underway this week. However, a move meant to help cannabis convicts may be backfiring for some of them. As our Corn Hoggard explains, this is a frustrating start for some hopeful business owners. It is time for some people to get a head start on the cannabis business in Minnesota. The state is now verifying social equity applications. Those will be the first people to get dibs on licenses, but some of them are struggling to prove their social equity applicants because their convictions have disappeared. A little weed in the car got Nathan Phillippe busted in 2006. He got a ticket and a mark on his record. I distinctly remember uh, paying a fine for it. 18 years later, that arrest could come in handy as he looks to expand his St. Cloud Smoke and Hemp shop into cannabis retail. Social equity applicants get first crack in the Minnesota marijuana license lotteries, and convictions for marijuana-related crimes open that door. But when Philippi checked his court records, the conviction was invisible. So it's kind of like getting hit twice from the government once for the offense in the first place and now again when they actually are doing something to remedy this the, the, the situation. Last year's legalization bill expunged and sealed the records of about 57,000 low-level marijuana convictions. Others are just old enough that counties destroyed the records, wiping the slate clean for people who need to show some dirt in their past. I'm basically in an infinite loop with the government right now, and I, I don't know what the next steps are. The Office of Cannabis Management had more than 1,500 people apply for verification of their social equity status this week, with 282 licenses up for grabs. Officials admit ghost convictions are an issue for several people, but cannabis consultants say it's going smoothly for most of their clients. I will say that the verifications, the process seems to go fairly quickly. The OCM has posted guidance for people in this situation online. We'll have that on our website at fox9.com. And Laylee Fadahi told me she's telling her clients to just fill it out with as much information as possible. In some counties, for instance, when they delete your record, they have a record that there's a deleted record. And submitting that is at least worth a try. In Hennepin County, Corn Hoggard, Fox 9. All right, Corn.